All right, boys and girls, it's good to be back with you again. I've been away on holiday, and I think some of you are away too for the school holidays. I've been lent this book this morning from Dorothy Butler Bookshop. It's called The Whale Who Wanted More, and it's by Rachel Bright. Under glittering waves, a vast blue ocean, a, a vast ocean blue, a beautiful world is hidden from view. And there in the cool and quiet of the deep, a great gentle giant was stirring from sleep. With a hubbub of bubbles, he opened one eye and let out a long, lonely, rippling sigh. For when Humphrey awoke, he remembered his quest, one that pulled at his heart and pressed at his chest. A lifelong search for, he didn't know what, he just knew it was something he hadn't yet got. He rifled in shipwrecks and rooted through treasure, scooped pretty shells which he polished for pleasure. But whether his haul was enormous or tiny, the next day, it was never quite, seemed quite as shiny. Finding all this junk in the ocean, isn't it? So he never felt satisfied, that was for sure. And no matter the bounty, he just wanted more. But the more he amassed, the more lonesome he got. He knew it was wrong, but he just couldn't stop. So he drifted without any sense of direction till his wanderings washed him one day to perfection. A rainbow of reefs kissed with speckles of sun where all kinds of critters hung out and had fun. There were glistening fishes, crustaceans galore, there were mol molosses and dugongs and urchins and more. The coral was studded with flotsam and jetsam Humphrey just wanted to dive in and get some. Meanwhile, on this reef, once a magical home, chaos and trouble, it boiled and foamed. Since with so many creatures all crammed in one place, there were too many neighbours and not enough space. They all bickered and snippered. They pushed and they shoved, so did not notice the shadow of home. Except one with a curious stalk of an eye, which luckily always gazed up at the sky. A crab with quick wit and a brilliant mind. Crystal was smart and eternally kind. Look up, Crystal shouted. Look up and look out, the world once more is out and about. But all were so busy with one gripe or another. They hadn't got time to look out for each other. So Humphrey he plunged in the noise of the brawl to fill up his longing once and for all. Help! They all screamed, gripe, gripped by panic and fear. But as everyone froze, Crystal's thinking was clear. Well, shouted Crystal. Well, you must stop. She yelled so loud she thought she might pop. You are the whale who always wants more. But where, what are you really wanting it for? Well, Humphrey was right, utterly taken aback. This fisty young crab stopped him in his track. He thought very hard for the first time in years. So he gathered his voice, so he fought back some tears. I don't know, whispered Humphrey. I think I've got my goal. Was to fill up, was to feel all filled up and well happy and whole. You know, replied Crystal, I think you might find that happiness comes when you're caring and kind. Perhaps, she suggested, with one pincer uncurled, you might have a gift you could give to the world. Humphrey, he hung on her every word, and deep in his soul a melody stirred. He remembered a lullaby taught by his mother, echoed through time from one whale to another. 
I was given one gift when I was brand new, but I've never had someone to give that gift to. Then he opened his mouth, let go of his doubt, and an achingly beautiful tune tumbled out. The turtles, they circled, the dolphins were playing, even the seaweed was dancing and swaying. And as harmony touched everyone who was there, they remembered that balance takes patience and care. They'd been fighting and poking and griping so long, they'd forgotten they all sang the same ocean song. Humphrey, he knew then he, want, he wanted to stay. As at last, all his longings, they had faded away. From them, all was rhythm and peace on the reef. For one clever young crab was quite a relief. She befriended the whale, who perfected the knack of taking the time to give some things back. Yes, that whale stopped collecting and made a great start at doing the things that filled up his heart. So perhaps true contentment is not about stuff. Since we all need so little to have quite enough. Stuff. Yes, we all seem to accumulate stuff. See all those books on the shelves behind you? When I came here to St. Luke's, I had a rule that if I hadn't opened a book in 10 years, I was giving it away. So those little books that I opened in 10 years. Maybe after I've been at St. Luke's 10 years, I should do the same exercise again and see what's just sitting redundant there on the shelf. But all of us have stuff, don't we? We accumulate. And sometimes we fall into the trap of thinking the meaning of life is to accumulate. And then we need a clever little crab like Crystal to come along and remind us that the meaning of life is about other things like being kind and caring. Have a great week. See you later.